The land for the village hall was given to the village for the purposes of building the village hall just after the war in the 40s. Well, I think the village hall is the, is the centre of the whole community. Without village hall, I think there is no focal point, really, for any of the groups in the village. You think of all the groups that the hall runs, uh, play group, toddlers, scouts, cubs, social club, everything. Without the village hall, there's nowhere for those groups to come together. I think the village lacks any community centre. Uh, well, the play group we'll start with, because they are the biggest user of the village yeah. hall, um, and they are a really vibrant group. Um, they are, I, I think absolutely pivotal to, to activities, not only the village hall, but the village itself. Um, and at the moment they've got, I think, they're completely full. They've got 26 children coming every morning, every session. Um, and it's run, you know, by people that live in the village. Recreation for All is a group that came together, all the user groups at the hall, to replace the existing equipment. What we ultimately would like to see is all the age groups covered. Obviously at the minute, the, the new equipment we've got out there is specifically designed for the 7 to the 13s, and obviously that's now open and proven to be very, very popular, very successful. I can't speak highly enough actually of the play group. I'm a huge fan of it. Both my kids went through there and I, you know, it's, it looks like just, you know, kids messing about, but it's, it's structured, it's inspected, and, uh, you know, they're, they're the core of our, our activities. <laughs> social club run a bar three nights a week, I think now, sometimes more. Um, they'll run a bar for social events. Um, and the people that run that social club now are contributing quite a lot to the running of the hall itself. We put on live music once a month called Saturday Night Live. The entertainment is varied. We could have a rock and roll band one month and the next month it might be a rock band, a pop band and country and western. It's essential for people in the community who just want to come and get together and meet up for different activities. Scouts um, are getting bigger and bigger I and mean, their success is extraordinary really. They're running two cub groups and the beavers start at um, age six and they take them all the way to, to 17, 18. Um, and instead it forms really the role of a youth club, the Explorer Scouts and Scouts. And I think that's very important because it's a bit isolating, I imagine, for young people out here. There's not a huge amount to do. People, we've now got over 120 um, youngsters in the group, plus 20 or so adult leaders. And it just lets us provide what scouting is all about to those young people. I'm involved in scouting because I enjoy what we do, I enjoy the people who are there and I generally have a good time. I think it's great that Taysburg Scouts doesn't just attract the, the young people from our own village but we also support Newton Flotman, Saxingham and Long Stratton, so the neighbouring communities as well. Well we really love scouts because it's really fun, you get to meet new people and you feel like you're part of the community. Um, I like Scouts because when we go on camps it's really fun. And we get to meet up with friends and make new friends. I think the, the Village Hall here in Taser is really important to us because it enables lots of different user groups to meet in a central place and it provides a facility for groups who wouldn't probably be able to afford their own place to come together and make great use of it. Yeah, the Village Hall it's essential for people in the community who just want to come and get together and meet up for different um, activities. Um, without it, the, the village lacks a focus point and, and it's somewhere for people to get involved, to get to know each other. If people move to the village, they don't know anybody else. And the, the activities that go on at the village hall give them the opportunity to get to know people and get to know their neighbours sometimes. Well, I think it's a case of use it or lose it and, and, and if it wasn't here, I think people would miss it. Um, there's nothing else in, in, the, in the village that would um, provide the similar facilities. 
Um, and if, if you don't come and make use of it, and if you don't um, support the fundraising activities that go on, then it will struggle to survive. Well, in this village, it's the centre of the community. It's where all of us you know, run our activities and meet each other. Um, certainly when I came to this village, I didn't know anybody. And um, the first thing I did was come to the toddler's group with my small baby. And that's really how I got to meet the neighbours. So it's the focal point of our community, really. I think a very important role. We're trying to pull the community together. As it's a volu volunteers run the place, it's very good that uh, it tries and pulls in people from the community to help out. It's just the centre. It's absolutely essential. That brings every, all the other strands in the village together, I think.